my name is Joan Erdley and I am the Education Coordinator here at the Hayes Presidential Library and Museums. And this December I wanted to share with you some ways that you can decorate your tree like the Victorians would have. Their goal was to use items that they normally would have on hand, like, you know, maybe some paper or some buttons or some string um, or you know, cranberries, which were in season or oranges, which were also in season. So these are very popular items that Victorians would have used to decorate their trees. I will show you three crafts in this series and you can follow along with me on making a popcorn and cranberry garland. For those, you will need a needle, some string, and then some fresh cranberries and some popped popcorn. I will also be showing you how to make dried oranges ornaments. So you'll need oranges for that, an oven and a baking tray. And then finally we'll be making some medallion ornaments which you can hang on your tree or tie on your tree and those are made out of paper. So you'll need paper, uh, maybe some stickers if you wanna embellish it a little bit, um, ribbon to hang, which you'll also need for the oranges, and then some scissors, some scissors, and glue stick. Today we are going to make dried orange decorations. So in the Victorian era, not everybody had the ability to go out and buy special ornate ornaments for a Christmas tree that they might have. So they would often use items that they found around their house. And one of those items that was popular um, in the Christmas season were oranges. So the first step is to grab your oranges, have a knife and um, a cutting board. So you'll definitely want to have a parent help you do this one. Um, and then you just cut your orange into slices. So you wanna make pretty thin slices because you're gonna be drying the oranges on a pan in your oven. So you'll have your orange slices, you'll set them out on a baking sheet, like the one that I have here. And just cut as many as you can from the orange. Like I said, you'll just set them out here on the tray. And then once you've filled up your tray, you can put tin foil or parchment paper down first if you're worried about it sticking to the tray. Um, but you don't have to, you can just stick them right on the baking tray directly. And then you want to pop them into your oven, which has to be set at 250 degrees. So 250 degrees uh, for the oven to bake them in. Stick them in there. And then you'll have to wait about two to three hours. And I know that's a big gap, but um, you really want to check on them for the first two hours and you'll want to flip them after the first hour. And then wait another hour on the second hour, flip them over again, and then you can kind of determine where they're at, if they're dry enough or not dry enough, if you really want to go for that extra third hour. All right, so we have our oranges. They've been roasting or dehydrating in the oven. And once they were ready, we took them out, set them on a rack to cool, and now they're all cool to the touch so we can use them to decorate our tree. So, you have your orange here and you need a piece of string or ribbon, twine, anything you, baker's twine probably would have been used uh, by the Victorians, any kind of string that they could find. And you just kind of find a hole. You can use the center here, like this one. Has a nice center to uh, slide the ribbon through. And then just hang it from your tree. Thanks for joining me this afternoon. Um, I will see you next week for our next craft.